is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express yourself, express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 81, NASDAQ's up 205, SP's up 33, gold contract down $11.30, trading at 17.16 an ounce. We have silver off 5 cents, $18.65 an ounce. Light Street crude off 2 bucks, $102.26 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 6 ticks, trading 117.25. The 30 year is flat at 138.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar. Is trading up 341 ticks at 107.023. The euro is 101. The yen is at a 138, and the British 137.50, and the, the British pound is at 119 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's going to be a kind of cool coming into tomorrow morning. So this is what we have out here. You have, well, first off, yesterday, folks, in the indices, let me bring the indices up first, because I want to show you, in the indices, we had the volume. So as of coming off the low, you actually got the volume. Right here, 941 million versus that 897. And inside the uh, NYSE, we take a look at the composite. You're going to see the composite 5.2 billion versus 4.9. So bottom line is that you get a move and you get volume behind the move, which is always cool. Now, the S&P first is dealing with the swing. So what happened with the S&P, the swing on the S&P was 72 million and we did 78. So that also had it. Now, the swing, the major swing, however, is 393.16. Now, it looks to me like we're going to close over that area today. Now, if we don't close over that area, we're going to get divergence. Right now, bottom line, let's go, let's go bring up the futures here for a second. Because what, what you had, you had markets running all day long. Google come out and said uh, that they're going to basically stop hiring for two weeks. That brought the markets into lower price. And what you had here is that even when this market was running, okay, uh, bottom line, you didn't have a huge amount of volume up here. That's the bottom line. You can see the first high that was generated had 47,000 contracts. Second high that was generated it did 26. So it makes sense that it goes south, okay? Now, all it did is came into strength. That's the bottom line, just came into strength. So that's a natural retracement, particularly when you take a look at this chart I'm looking at. You can see that the SPY went from, uh, well, the S and the E mini went from uh, 38, 36 up to uh, 39.77 without stopping basically. Now, well, now overnight you had a kind of pullback. Okay, so when you go back to the SPY, that number that we're gonna be watching in the SPY is gonna be crucial for tomorrow morning. I'll show you why. So inside of the SPY, the SPY right now, we're at the 395 and it would have to pull back two points in order to basically have a failure. Now let's go to the Qs because the Qs are leading this market the Qs have the volume behind it. The Qs want higher price. And after the market closed today, we're going to go to we'll go to Tesla because Tesla's coming out with earnings. 
which, you know, bottom line, if they can pull um, earnings off, uh, it's going to be good for another, you know, 20, 30, 40 points inside the S&P. Okay, so the Q's, the bottom line, the Q's, you had uh, 54 million, we're already at 52, the Q's are going to do it, they're, they're broken, the, lot, the consolidation that was in, that said the Q's want to go to 314. We go, uh, here's the, it's going to be the dollar, man. It's a, this dollar is something else, man. There's no doubt about it. So if we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see is that you're, you're, down, you're up 371 right now. You're at 107.05. And anything above 106.792 is saying the dollar can go higher. That's how this is shaken out, man, because it came into the highs of the strength and rejected it at this point. And what's going to be intriguing, of course, is that it's going to be tomorrow morning, I believe, that the ECB is going to come out and say, okay, are we going to go up on rates? Um, the, the intriguing thing about it is that when I look at this, right, it looks to me like the euro is going to go right back down to 99. And if that's the case, then what you're going to get is that whatever the ECB does, it's going to throw a wrench inside the dollar and pop the dollar again. So now, let's, let's get a little deviant here, because the market loves being deviant. So picture the, the, um, the number comes out tomorrow morning. And because the NDX folks are so strong, you just want to pay attention to this, because if we get a fast pullback, my take is that that's going to be a buy. Because of the fact that we know inside the NDX 100 right now that we have the volume. And it's really, it, 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 the trade would be a lot easier if the, the, if the SPY actually failed. Because then it would be saying to me that, okay, you're going to get the pullback when that announcement comes. But guess what? <laughs> That's going to be a slight pullback and you're just going to plow faster forward once again. Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla. Tesla's going to be coming out with numbers after the close out here. Um, let's see what we have here. So... Tesla right now, the low for the year is 620, the high is 1243. They are going to be looking to put, let's see what we have here. They're looking to do 16.9 billion, which is lower than the last quarter by 2 billion, and a dollar 83 to the bottom line. So their bottom line has got cut in half. If we take a look at the equity, uh, interesting, look at, if you take a look at this equity, this equity is going to need a lot more volume coming into the close. Yep. So what you have here is this. You're coming into 33 million at 764. Oh, that's way too. Well. Yeah, no. This is this is this uh this is not even close actually, volume wise. So that's telling me that we're gonna basically fail whatever Tesla's gonna do here. Um, this thing wants to back off. Because the the volume is way too thin in order to basically get into the swing point and to sustain higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now up 67. NASDAQ's up 194. S&P's up 30. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 89. You get the NASDAQ up 202. S&Ps are up 32. And let's go into the IWM for a couple of targets. Take a look at the IWM. So if we take a look at this uh, ETF structure, folks, uh, the low for the year is... Uh, <clears throat> all right, 162. The high is 244. You're trading out at 181. Okay, so... That had 25 million. Good. Okay, so this one actually took that swing out just about, ha almost had enough volume. So, yeah, that's saying that, hey, man, the next uh, 190s game. That's how this is set up. You know, it's, it's you know, you had all those gaps on the way down. Um, 18 million today. Yeah, you'll, st you'll still like 25 million tomorrow, which is not bad. So, that's saying that that... Um, 190s game. Let's go take a look at the UUP. This is the dollar index, folks, the ETF structure inside the dollar index. Uh, this is trading 2860 right now. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Okay, so this little baby here. The, the, the way that the UUP is set up would be saying, and that's what the question is, is, you know, could that be a top? And yeah, looking at that, it definitely could be a top, you know. Um, that's how this is set up, you know. So the, the problem that I have inside of the currencies, folks, okay, now this has volume, okay, but the, the volume that the currencies actually do are so huge, <coughs> excuse me, that, you know, it, I'm not quite sure whether it's as accurate, uh, but the bottom line is that, that that is a setup for top, you know, so... We'll see how this baby shakes out. If we go uh, and take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this market out here today, you got Advanced Micros up three and a half dollars. You got Nvidia up eight dollars and sixty six cents. Uh, Coinbase, look at that. That caught a bid. <laughs> That's wild. Coinbase is up uh, ten dollars. That's fifteen percent, man. That's wild. Tesla's up nine dollars. Uh, you get Uber up one forty three. And uh, NVDA, we were talking about NVIDIA with a tiger yesterday. Uh, bottom line, this is getting some traction, man. You know, you can see they're coming into this big, man. You know, the bottom line, last three days, watch. On um, Monday, we did 67 million. Yesterday, we did 70 million. Today, it's going to be like 75, 80 million. So that swing point is game up there at that 196. It just blew away the swing point. 
at 173. Uh, you know, that swing point only had 42 million. There's some heavy accumulation that's going on in here. Let me just pull this up for a second. I'm just curious. We'll see if we have any bigger owners that have done anything. If you're watching Tiger TV, I'm bringing up the security ownership, uh, basically, of larger owners. Come on, come on, come to daddy. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to that because that screen's frozen on me. If we do go over to the S&P, so check this out. The S&P right now, this is going to be intriguing because it has a small ABC structure up to go to the highs once again. Now, the real question is going to be, folks, is that if this goes to the highs too early, meaning it's a 322 right now, um, you know, I would rather this thing wait until quarter over something. Um, look at this. What's going on? Okay, one second. Let's do it this way. See if I can get a new one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me get rid of this one now. Okay. So, yeah, let me show you this S&P because this is going to be intriguing. If you get the, you can see... We pull this off. See that last, that, what, two bars ago? That took out that little bar. We had uh, 16,000 and like 10, 20 minutes ago, it was 33,000. Now that set that, it, you know, it, it's, well, actually, that's going against 52,000. It's going to be hard to break. But the number brings you to the high. So we'll see just how intense this baby is. So let's go take a look at Amazon. I believe Amazon's coming out with their numbers next week. Yeah, the 28th. So that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be next week. Uh, Amazon is going to be looking for... $119 billion and 16 cents. So, you know, what's intriguing here is that you know, you can see, uh, bottom line is that they get a lot of expenses that are built into this, man. You know, the market didn't like Amazon making 37 cents, and now they're going to cut that in half and do 16 cents when, in fact, they're going to take in $3 billion more dollars. Now, it changes the next quarter. The next quarter after that goes up to 35 cents again. Uh, bottom line is that then next year, you go from a price point of making 69 cents to two dollars and 58 cents so the it'll be a dramatic change there's no doubt about that uh what amazon is looking for netflix netflix came out with numbers last night uh bottom line is that you had netflix was uh well it got up to 216 prior to the open it was trading up 20 dollars. right now you're trading up 12 dollars and 87 cents we take a look at this it has some volume okay so if you look at netflix what you're going to see here see this 212, when you're looking at equities, folks, right, and you think that you're going to get a bounce, right, what you should do is go to the last day with volume on the way down. That's where they normally like to go. And you can see in Netflix's case, that was $212.51. And the first time you get up into that level, you know, you're not going to break it when you just got blown away when this thing came down from a price point of 351 the last time I come out with numbers and went to 212. That volume is too intense. What is happening here today is that this is coming into that supply line and starting to take some of that supply line out. So uh, Netflix, no doubt, is going to be something that you, you do want to keep your eye on. If we go take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, you have um, let's see. Datadog. Datadog's up 9%. You got uh, uh, OKTA up 8.8%. Mercado Libre's up 77 There's some big numbers, man. Uh, Biogen, that's getting smoked. That's down uh, 6%. You have AstraZeneca down 35 I wonder why those, those drugs are getting done. Pinduoduo is down 2.4%. And you have uh, Palto Alto off... Uh, 1.7. Those are, those are big numbers, man. That's surprising. Inside the Dow Industrial. Strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. The leader out here looks like it's going to be Salesforce. Um, yeah, Salesforce is putting 61 positive points. Disney, 25. Home Depot, 22. Taken away from it. United Health. That's the big one. Minus uh, 83 points. You got Merck, minus 18. Big Mac, minus 15. 
Let's go over to Home Depot and see if uh, Home Depot is getting any traction out here. You know, Home Depot, bottom line, didn't pull back that much. Um, well, yes, it did. Yeah, sure it did. Let's see. Yeah, oh, well, sure, sure it did, man. Okay, so Home Depot pulled back from 420, hit a low uh, four weeks ago of 264. There's no strength there, man. Nope. This is not done. Home Depot is going to be going down to 246. Yeah, you can look, look at this, man. You can see the contraction. The contraction of volume is pretty intense. You're going into 35 million. Last week we did 13 million. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 95. Nasdaq's up 211. S&Ps are up 34. Now, check this out. Let's go and take a look at Ford because this is, uh, I suspect, you know, it's going to be really intriguing how this recession shakes out because the the job picture okay is getting pretty intense meaning we haven't seen something like this for a long time meaning ford bottom line that this came out 1523 so what time did it, it's 15 yeah this came out seven minutes ago ford is going to lay off eight thousand people folks in the next two weeks <laughs> That is pretty intense. I'm trying to figure out, is that is that all in the United States or outside? Here we go. So Ford's prepared to cut as many as 8,000 jobs in the coming weeks as the automaker maker tries to boost profits to fund its push into the electronic vehicle market. The elimination will come in the newly created Ford Blue Unit responsible for producing internal combustion engine machines as well as other sal salaried workers throughout the company. Instead, the people who asked not to be identified revealing internal discussions. The plan has not been finalized and details could not be, could still change. 
The move would mark a significant step for Chief Executive Officer Jim Farley's plan to cut $3 billion in costs by 2026. He says he wants to transform Ford Blue into a profit and cash machine for the entire enterprise. Um, you know, bottom line is that uh, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't have whether that's going to be uh, U.S. based or not. So if we get over and we take a look at Ford, you know, bottom line is that we bring this back. So right now, Ford's trading $12. This is a straight line move down from 25. So it's cut in half. You know, this is an intriguing one, though. But look at look at this. This is cut in half, but it's back to strength. This thing, $9.97 with strength. It gets down to 1061. We'll see where it shakes out. I suspect what we have is this, <clears throat> is that you have Apple, you have Google, all these companies coming out, folks, and they're, they're, they're cutting their expenses. That's the bottom line. They're cutting the amount of real estate they have. They're cutting the amount of heads they have there. And on top of that, what they're doing is that they're stopping hiring. Now, that would make sense in the context that these companies are still trying to make money in a market that doesn't have as much growth. The problem, of course, for everyone out there is that, you know, you lose a job like that and, you know, that's a depression for you. Not, you know, but you're going to see um, how fast these companies, bottom line, will cut cost. Let's go to Andy in Colorado. Andy, what's going on, brother? Tom, how you been? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm itching to buy. <laughs> I got it. I, I see that. I like that. <laughs> it's, it's so, buy. Um, I'm looking at uh, basically food and security right now. Um, I'm looking at Mosaic again. It looked like it did uh, a weekly ABC a few days ago or so. Uh, 4325 on Mosaic. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so Mosaic. The low for the year is 28, the high is 79. This is a nutrient company, folks, okay? Monster nutrient company stationed right here. In fact, we were just talking about this upstairs. So let's pull this back, okay. Okay, so I have it on a weekly. So that's 28. Yeah, look what's happening. Yeah, 28 against 40. I see what you're looking at. Yeah, you can bite on this, man. Um, you know, because the, the cool thing here, you know, I'm sure you've already seen this. You don't have to, you know, put the stop that far away. <laughs> you really don't, because if it goes, it goes. That's how this right, is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if this just went to ice, ice is laid out at 55 bucks and you're at 48. Let me get this closer. One second. Hold on. So let's do it this way, because I talked about this yesterday, folks. So what happens is that if you are getting into something right now, we know how bad the downdraft's been, right? You don't have to be right in the context that it's going to go to highs. You can trade it to go to the 0 0.382, because the downdraft is a straight line move down. That's what we've had since January. So on this one, a 0 0.382, Andy, is the same as $56, which is great. Because the reason I'm saying it's great is that the $55 is where all that volume was. You see what I'm saying? And if a mm -hmm. 0 0.382 is, you know, bottom line, yeah, there it is that right there, 55.34. And that's ice. And what did I say? The first one, 56-something, right? That's a 0 0.382. Yeah. So, you know, that you could get a bounce like that. And, you know, the bottom line. So let's look at this for a second. So you have... Revenue-wise, what they're looking at, oh, wow. It's amazing that this has come down so much if these numbers are ever right, man. <laughs> they're, they're looking to do, so check this out. Last quarter, they did $3.9 billion. This quarter, they're looking to do $5.7 billion and bring $3.98 to the bottom line versus wow. bringing $2.41 to the bottom line. So, Great. Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've been looking at it for a while. You probably heard me call in a few times about it over the past couple of months. Um, <clears throat> all right, I think I might bite on it. Um, I, I want to come back a little bit. But the other thing I'm looking at is um, Palo Alto Networks, uh, too. So basically, I'm kind of on the food and security kind of theme right now. I'm and, with you. And for, like, long term, you know, no matter what happens in the next year or so. Um, right. 
Well, Palo Alto, I, I would wait. Uh, the reason being, <clears throat> you can see, th this looks to me like it's going to come down to the other end of the, con the consolidation, which is 459. This had a tough time. You can see, price-wise, this thing moves quite a bit. You know, when this thing went from 526 to 488, <coughs> excuse me, um, the, that was like a week, a week ago, you know, it came back up. And you can see it came back up with six point, no, with, with 790,000 versus 1.3 million. And you got an expansion of volume again today. That's telling me that someone's moving this out. Here, let's do this. Let's pull this up. One second. Let's see if we could. When we do this, folks, uh, this time it works. Great. So <laughs> what we're looking for on the left-hand side. Oh, there it is right there, man. Who's this? Okay, here, watch this. One second. Let me do it this way. This way. Okay. 719 is 630. It's not that big. That's BNP Paramus. That's the seller. But this one's a big set. Well, this is First Trust Advisors, but you can see what happens. This is 719. So you can see they were just selling that, was that yesterday, right? And the problem here is that when, when you look at something like this, folks, you look at that, then what you do is you go to how many shares they got left. So it looks like they, sent, they sold approximately, you know, 9% of their shares yesterday, Andy. So I just hang tight, man, on that one and see how that, because that's telling me that you got a couple larger sellers. That's, that's how that shakes out. And, you know, it, it all, it's always not that easy, folks. That doesn't mean I'm right either. <laughs> that's the other side of it. Do you, do you think we'll test that uh, May 16th, uh, I'm looking at a weekly, May 16th low at 421? Put this on a weekly. Because that's 50% of, of that big move back on, okay. on August 23rd. Yeah, I do. Like, yes, that's sticking out like a sore thumb. It is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I do. I think we're going to test that. Yeah. I Just hang there, man. I'll wait. Yeah. yeah. Cooking, brother. Hey, thanks again, Tom. Have a Appreciate great one, man. It. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We uh, come back with our man Frank from Gloucester. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 46. NASDAQ's up 188. S&Ps are up 26. We'll come right back, folks. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 69, Nasdaq's up 194, S&P's uh, up 30. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tommy? Summer's here. I know. Is it nice and hot? Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it looks like it's going to break in a few days, and it's just a heat wave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get, you get a nice cold water, you can jump in. It's all right. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. You go, in, you go in as high as your ankles, and you can feel the cold blood running up into your heart. You, you know? can. I know, man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Still beautiful, though. No doubt. No doubt. So, Speaking General Mills, food. right? Yeah, General Mills. Let's take a look. So the low is 56, the high is 76. <clears throat> they pay a 1.4% dividend. And, you know, this, this equity is going to get interesting here, I mean, because the bottom line is that, you know, you had that monster sign of strength when we bring this back on the 29th, okay? It took out the swing, has the volume. You're digging into the swing now. What I'd probably do, Frank, is wait for this to get to the bottom of it, which is 71.50. Because what I did no, during no, the no. break, watch, Kellogg's trades with this also, folks, okay? And th th this right here, both Kellogg's and General Mills, folks, have been two of the strongest stocks in the market, even on this downdraft. So yeah. it's a nice setup, man. But see how Kellogg's also is not into that 7126? It's like, okay, man. You know, so yeah. I can picture, Frank, that because... This was one of the strongest equities, right? I can see that, okay, who's, you know, do they start moving it out a little? Now, when I just did the same exercise with Andy, we'll do this and bring it up. What I was seeing is that there was a seller, but there was actually a larger buyer here. So look at this, man. So if we go down 719, that was yesterday. Someone did sell, Invesco sold 10% of their position yesterday, okay? But then look at this, man. You had... First, this is interesting, man. So, first, Trust Advisors doubled their position. They bought 2.5 million. Now, you know what's so cool about this? If you just remembered, folks, when I just did this with Andy from Colorado on Mosaic, it was First Trust Advisors who was selling Mosaic. <laughs> so, there, there, you can see what's happening. They're moving their portfolio around. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, and it's listen. It's hard to gauge looking at this part, but I like looking at it when I'm basically going into something because sometimes it does stick out like a sore thumb, man. Do you know what I mean? Look, looking on a weekly at uh, General Mills, it's come down this year several times, four or five times to its 200-day moving average and uh, bounced off it. Do um, you think it could get back down there again? That's interesting. Man, if it, yeah, I can see that. I just put it up, right? Well, I think it could because, you know, my take is that we're kind of still in a bear here. Not kind of still in a bear. My take is we're in a bear, but we're going to have a heck of a bounce going forward right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, well, you still have confidence in that bounce, huh? I do. I do, because the NASDAQ 
is wants higher price, man. Now, Tesla doesn't look yeah. to me like it's going to pop tonight. Uh, but the way it's, it's very unusual that you can get volume in the equities that quick off the bottom. You know, most times if you come off the bottom, it, it takes a week and a half, two weeks to really get some equity going. But, you know, the Nasdaq yeah. has done it. So it's like, okay. Yeah, this is, I would, listen, I would wait at least to the $70 level, Frank. And it's yeah, I'm, watching the fib, I'm watching the fib levels on this. I figure it'll flip at one of the fib levels. It's not quite down to 382 yet. No, I agree. Because what has happened, folks, these, these levels, okay, they're hitting left and right. They absolutely are hitting left. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so, yeah, that's 72, 79. You know, so, and then the bottom, All right, we'll the look for, bottom we'll look of that bar signal. is 7150. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 7150. Okay. Cooking, brother. Thank you, sir. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. We go take a look at, let's go, so Microsoft. Let's go to Microsoft, take a look at Microsoft out here. Microsoft. Yeah, see, this is dangerous. Man, there's a lot of divergence out here. So Microsoft, right? That's up with 17 million shares. That's going into 35 million. What, and that's, oh man, this is gonna be a trip. That's dangerous. That's really dangerous, actually. And what, what happens, folks, is that when you take a couple of these kingpins and see the strength versus the weakness, it's important because that gives you a better probability and understanding of where the market wants to go at these swings. Now, we go to Apple, and what you have with Apple, bottom line is that Apple's not going to have the volume today, but guess what? It just took out the 150, 174. You're at 153. Now, I forget the ABC structure, what number it is, but I think we just hit it. That's the bottom line. And 155. Yeah, Apple can hit 155. 155 is like ice on Apple. That's how that's set up right now. And as I said a little bit earlier, uh, what we do have is this. And this is where when, when a company can come in and basically make their numbers and blow their numbers away, it's going to have to do with the aspect of them cutting expenses dramatically as fast as they can. You know, we had out here, now you get, we get Google, Lyft, um, they're hitting the brakes on hiring. These companies, it's amazing how many people they actually hire. So when they stop hiring, it is dramatically different. Okay, so let, let's take a look at it. So you got Google has been deaccelerating their recruiting according to the chief executive officer um, this month that although the business added 10,000, look at this, oh my God, they added 90 days, 10,000 people. It will be slowing the pace of hiring for the rest of the year and prioritizing engineering and technical talent. See, that's smart, man. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, you know you're coming into a slower period. You say, okay, I'm gonna slow down and I'm gonna make things better. That's what it looks like they're doing. Um, it had 164,000 employees at the end of March. Amasa said in April that it was overstaffed after ramping up. They're cutting back. Apple's slowing. Cavana, forget Cavana. Coinbase, Compass, that's a real estate brokerage, limited 450 positions at 10% of the staff. They're gonna be lower, they're gonna be lower and more. You know, it's weird about Compass, folks. Not weird, they have 5,000 people, but they just took a spot across the street from our office, literally right across the street, and, well, no, it's one block away. And I was just looking at it like, you gotta be out of your mind, man. I mean, the spot they're taking, they're gonna be paying so much money for that spot, it's insane in a down market. Um, Lyft, okay, what does Lyft say? They're reigning in hiring also. Just depends. Uh, that's nothing. Yeah, the lift is only higher. They're, they're stopping hiring, but they're only um, laying off like 60 people. But Microsoft is in there too. Holy cow. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow is up uh, 90. Nasdaq's up 198. S&P's up 31. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 52. We get the NASDAQ up 185. S&Ps are up 26. And uh, market-wise, folks, uh, after the close, it's going to be about Tesla. Uh, bottom line, uh, they are going to be coming out with their numbers uh, right after the close. And, uh, you know, it looks to me like this thing's going to back down a bit. We'll see how that's shaking out. But uh, there's, there's not... So you're coming into a swing... And you just don't have the juice, man. I mean, if someone, you know, the last swing had 33 million shares, you're at 23 million. So bottom line, you know, we're talking about a third less. That, that's a big number, man. That's a big number to be, you know, hey, we'll, we'll find out. We're going to be finding out that out in six minutes. Um, Market-wise, we tell you, let's go take a look at the, and then tomorrow morning, okay, so the ECB tomorrow morning is going to move the dollar. That's the bottom line. If we go to the SPY right now. Uh, SPY is going to close over these levels, so that means it can go higher. It doesn't have the volume, but 393.16 was the number. You're at 394.960, and the NDX does have the volume. So the bottom line, no matter what we have, meaning if we get a fast pullback tomorrow morning, you want to stay tuned to it, man, because this, um, the Qs, the Qs have done 58 million shares. They're blown away 54 million. Your next swing point is up there at 314, and 314 itself only has 59 million, you know. So what you have here is that because we were coming down on light volume too, at, you know, once you came down first, and when we just kept testing, testing, testing with light volume, well, the bottom line, it's easier when buying comes in to take those swings out. If you take those swings out with volume, guess what, man? The market's gonna go up and visit its next friend up the next level. 
And that's the way it looks to me. And it, that's technically, fundamentally, I think what's happening in one of our traders in the uh, den basically hit it, uh, meaning that these companies uh, all threw the kitchen sink in the last quarter. And in the old days, guess what? They cut expenses when the recession started and they're cutting them now. They're ahead of the curve. I think a lot of us are ahead of the curve. Well, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out if we get a recession. I probably won't even get a recession, which would be awesome. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. Building